Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Marketo Summit webinar. My name is Jordan Kahn. I am a product marketing manager here at Visible, um, and I'll be your host today. Uh, before we get underway, I have a few pieces of housekeeping. Um, first, the webinar is being recorded. Uh, please stick with us, however. Uh, participate, ask questions, um, but we'll be sure to send you the recording after the webinar is done. Uh, Make sure your sound is set to the right setting. Um, or if you can hear me now, you're doing it right. Uh, finally, we're going to keep the webinar to a tight 30 minutes, um, including about five minutes at the end for Q&A. Uh, we know it's a super busy time of year between all these events and other stuff going on. Uh, so we'll be sure to make the next 30 minutes well worth your time. Um, with that out of the way, um, I'm really excited about this webinar. Marketo Summit is a super conference uh, full of really smart people, um, but you guys are all here to hear from our expert panel, not me. Uh, before I introduce them, there are two really neat things about this panel. First, it's an all-woman panel, which is too rare, uh, especially in, in my tech today. Um, and second, it's an international panel. Um, we have two panelists from up north in Canada, and as a Canadian living in the States, uh, it's always really fun to have uh, kind of that mix. Um, with that said, here are your panelists. Up first, we have the Director of Revenue Marketing at Uberflip, Tara Robertson. Welcome, Tara. Thanks, Jordan. So happy to be here. Cool. Um, then we have the Field and Event Marketing Manager at Visible, Jen Degnan. Uh, sitting right next to me in this room. Thanks for joining us, Jen. Yeah, no problem. Excited to be here. Hey, everyone. Our third panelist is the VP of Customer Success and Partner Alliances, Kat Shampoo. Sorry, Kat, if I butchered that. Welcome, Kat. No, you did great. You did great. It's an honor <laughs> to be here. Thank you. Uh, and our final panelist today is the Field Marketing Manager at Radius, Naomi Gulia. Welcome, Naomi. Wonderful. Thanks so much for the introduction, Jordan. Looking forward to it. Cool. Thanks to everyone for joining us today. Uh, I'm excited to hear what you all have to share. Uh, so our first discussion question today, uh, Tara, I know you've been to Marketo Summit before and many other conferences, uh, lots of experience. What makes Marketo Summit unique? Um, what can you accomplish here that you can't at other conferences? Sure, yeah. So as Rita mentioned, at Uberflip, we do sponsor a lot of MarTech events every year. Um, but Marketo Summit is definitely a unique one for us specifically. Um, for me, the crowd is just so savvy and really knows their stuff when it comes to MarTech. So you don't end up getting stuck in conversations with someone that is really looking for more marketing 101 content. Everyone there is really there to learn much beyond the basics, which is a great crowd. Um, and personally, I could talk about marketing stacks and tools all day. So I get a ton of value just out of the networking aspect as an attendee. But as a sponsor, it's the perfect audience for us at Uberflip. We're always looking to get in front of really people that are moving beyond the basics of marketing and content marketing, but really evaluating MarTech tools. And I really have the headspace of more of an advanced marketer. This is Jen with Visible. We feel very similar to everything you just said, Tara. We're excited uh, to be at Marketo with a group of people. Everyone's using the same platform or looking to use the same platform. Um, we're excited about this one also. Just everyone there for the most part is operational, um, which is great for us. We like to talk data and numbers and a lot of really smart people there. So excited for that. Cool. Um, so we are now right, like a, a week and a half out from our Keto Summit. Um, so a lot of people are, are in that planning phase, um, looking at the conference agenda, kind of uh, scoping out what they want to do and what they want to see and learn. Um, Naomi, what do you want to learn or take away from attending this conference? Um, I guess, like, what, what are you looking for in the agenda? Yeah, of course. So I think typically what you'll find, and I think Marketo does a great job in really hitting all of these, like, finding ways to um, learn more about thought leadership and strategy um, and also kind of ways, because um, you'll find that different attendees are looking to figure out technical learnings. They want to learn how to. So a lot of the attendees are um, marketers wanting to bring things back to their organization. So a lot of what I see myself and others probably looking to do is attending workshops and certifications. They do a great job of spreading it throughout the days. I um, mean, also just listening in on the keynotes. They've got great 
folks from like companies like Marketo, SAP, um, and also uh, the, C the CMO at Marketo, um, really um, distributing um, out what they um, want to um, share with the audience. And then just networking in the expo halls as well, as I think is really key with all the vendors and just making sure that you research who that you want to talk with and, and such. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Cool, yeah, there's just such, it's such a big conference, there's, there's a huge variety of, of things, so you can pretty much find whatever you're looking for, whether it's staying on top of the most cutting edge uh, stuff that uh, vendors are putting out, or, or I guess the, like, the very specific takeaways that you mentioned. Um, right. And then again, as you mentioned, and uh, Tara talked about, the networking is huge at Marketo Summit. Um, so I guess like, Kat, what's, what's your key to successful networking? Um, if there was one or two or a handful of specific people that you wanted to meet, what's your, what's your playbook? Can you share that with us? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's going to be a lot of attendees there. So I personally make sure that I have a goal. Whenever I attend a conference like the summit, I plan ahead of time. I set myself one or two specific goals that I want to achieve. And then I plan everything around those goals. So whether or not uh, everybody here is going to Marketo to learn about the new features of the platform, or if they want to meet peers who can help them resolve, you know, day-to-day -day issues that, that they're facing, if they potentially want to meet candidates, maybe you're hiring, just make sure that you stay focused, identify the, the key roles uh, or companies that will help you reach that goal, and then build your schedule around that. You know, Summit has hundreds of exhibitors, dozens of sessions, thousands of attendees, so it really can be overwhelming, and you will not be able to do everything. So I would encourage everyone to stay focused on one or two goals, start to map out your days around those goals, the booths you wanna visit, the sessions you wanna attend, and leverage the app so that you can reach out to key people, schedule meetups, even if they're impromptu, and it'll be great. Also try to schedule everything on Monday or Tuesday. The conference is long, but people will tend to reschedule because something will come up. So I try to get everything in and scheduled on the first day so that I have a little bit of bandwidth to reschedule if something comes up. That's a really great tip. I think even for me last year, I was, I was very optimistic and booked a bunch of meetings on the last day and ended up having to jump in and pack up our booth. So that kind of took over my morning on the last day. So definitely kind of front load your meetings if you can. Um, and with the crowd specifically, I tend to get a bit introverted when I'm at huge events and parties, but I feel like at Marketo Summit, like Jordan mentioned, everyone's there with so much in common. So there's a lot to talk about pretty naturally without it being kind of a forced networking situation that is usually not very much fun. Um, and when it comes to having a list of a couple of people that you know you want to meet, my approach is usually to try to meet them where they are. So if they're sponsoring, I'll make a point of stopping by their booth, um, trying to get them out for a coffee, because if they're working the booth especially, they're going to need a break. Um, and if they're hosting a party, I'll try to attend that versus inviting them to ours, just because I know how hard it can be to get away from your own events sometimes. Um, so meeting people where they are is really my tip there. And on top of that, making sure that you're really on top of your follow-up. So you're gonna meet probably hundreds of people at this event and so is everybody else. So make sure that you do your follow-up as soon as you can, whether it's even just following people on Twitter or interacting with them on LinkedIn. I tend to do all that in the airport on my way home. And because I am coming back to Canada, I usually have quite a bit of time, but definitely make that um, a priority when you're leaving the event. Awesome, those are fantastic, fantastic tips. Uh Definitely something you, you learn from seasoned conference goers. Um, so depending on how long you're, you're planning on being in the Bay Area, it's three or four days of just kind of go, 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 uh, hectic as our panelists have clearly made it sound. Um, Jen, what's your approach to balancing your schedule? How do you make sure you're not completely dead on the last day? if possible. <laughs> um, I mean, I basically tell our entire team if they're not dead by the last day, they probably didn't do the conference right. Uh, there's just a lot there. Um, so basically, I think it's important to prioritize like what you want out of the conference. Is it going to all of the booths to find out what the new technology is? Is it going to the sessions to hear from thought leaders? Is it going to the parties to network and meet people that you talk to every day on the phone but have never met face-to-face? -face? Like, whatever it is, come up with 
your schedule uh, and what is important for you and, you know, make that your priority before you try and go and do it all. And then after one day, you are exhausted and there's three days left of it. I completely agree, Jen. I mean, let's let's be honest. Summit is not a restful event. It's really busy. It's jam packed with events and sessions and opportunities to network. You're going to want to try and do it all. But it's again, it's really about having that goal, right? You want to make sure that you do what's right for you and that it, it meets your needs. I would say my, my biggest um, advice is don't try to do it all. The first year I went to Summit, I wanted to maximize everything i wanted to see everything meet everyone and it's really it's impossible and that's how you're going to end up dead on your feet by the last day you will be physically and emotionally exhausted so i think if you pick your networking events carefully if you meet the right people at, and schedule the right meetings to, to to fit those goals that you have you're going to have a wonderful time but yes you will probably be dead on the last day it's totally worth it though <laughs> great great advice um... And a great segue, uh, Marketo Summit is crazy, hectic, but very informative and very, um, it's a very powerful time. Um, Naomi, is there anything creative or innovative um, that you or Radius do, a, a hack, if you will, um, to squeeze out extra value from attending Marketo Summit? Um, I think what we typically do as a company, because we do um, sponsor and we host ancillary events around around Marketo Summit, um, but it's it's really about um, just making sure that um, you know, just I think how everyone mentioned here the, with the attendees, making sure to schedule the right meeting. So we send out um, our team to make sure that they're doing their follow up. But I think ultimately, as an attendee, um, what's really key and what other folks on the line have said, it was it's definitely reviewing the agenda ahead of time. I think what um, what Marketo has done is um, added great filters on their session agenda and just being able to map out your day um, and just calendar the time that you need to network and visit the vendors and make sure you have like the one to three questions that you want to ask those vendors um, as far as their new features and functionality. Um, and then also just some other things that I know wasn't mentioned online, but definitely just shake hands, be friendly. Um, take pictures um, and also just, you know, collect swag and collateral to help you remember kind of the conversations that you've had um, and just stay healthy, make sure you're hydrated. Uh, I typically bring like, you know, snacks, little trail mixes and such and bananas, water, just to make sure that I stay hydrated throughout the, throughout the week. Uh, this is Jen. We are hack for Marketo Summit, if you will, is that we just spend so much time pre-planning for the event. Uh, like we had been talking about earlier, we it's chaotic, it's crazy, there are so many people there. So the more we can do beforehand to make sure that we have the right situation set up to meet the right people at, and it's on everyone's calendars and pre-communicated is a huge thing that we do. So whether that's like a dinner, or meeting at the booth, or coming to the party so we can just like introduce each other, uh, it's huge for us um, and encourage everyone else to do that as well. To, Plan as much as you can before because it's crazy. <laughs> there, there are definitely some themes coming <laughs> in this webinar. Um, cool. Uh, so last but not least, before we go to the speed round, um, I guess you just want to make sure that your boss lets you go back next year um, or attend other conferences. Um, and, you, and you do this by reporting on success. Um, Tara, can you give us kind of the sponsor perspective on, on how you report on success? And then Kat can jump in and give us kind of the more attendee perspective on what, what do you tell your boss after the event? Yeah, of course. So I guess I didn't do a great job on the attendee perspective because I'm not attending this year, unfortunately. Um, but Uberflip does sponsor every year and we're sponsoring again. So Marketo Summit is our best event of the year in terms of ROI. I mentioned at the beginning that the audience is just a perfect fit for us to get in front of, but it's also one of the most expensive events that we sponsor. So our team tries to keep everything pretty lean and we're really careful where we spend our budget. So we use Visible to track our multi-touch attribution and that way we can see what deals are in the pipeline and hopefully which deals become closed one um, that are tied to the event. So not just lead creation and lead source, but also who did we talk to, who came by the booth, who came to our party and keeping an eye on all of those different aspects of the event. 
And then for more short-term goals, we used to really focus around leads generated and net new MQLs when we came back from an event. But now we focus more on meetings booked ahead of time with our target accounts. And we're actually working with our BDR team right now to test out new incentives around that. So we found that meeting people in person was so valuable to getting those ops, not only just getting the ops generated, but also closing them. So we're really focused on getting in-person meetings with our AEs versus just coming back with a really big list of leads. Great advice. And um, from the attendee perspective, you know, at the risk of sounding like a broken record, it's really all about having a goal. So attend the sessions that speak to your goal, network with the people that can provide valuable information, visit exhibitors, exhibitors that'll contribute to you meeting those, those goals. And once summit is over, draft an action plan to resolve an issue or improve your Marketo instance. So if you're, if you're attending Marketo Summit, you probably have something that you wanna get data or information on so that you can progress with your automated marketing platform. So draft your plan and then present it to your boss and explain where at Summit you were able to find the information that allowed you to put this plan together. Show the value that attending this conference helped you solve an issue or helped you come up with an idea to improve and then measure this. Build a, a, a baseline of what you, where you are today, implement your solution, and then track it over weeks, months, sometimes it does take years, but track it and report on those metrics with your boss. Come back and say, hey, that solution I spoke about three months ago, the idea I got at Marketo, look where we are today, look how far we've come, and I'm projecting that we're, get, we're gonna get much further based on the numbers. So that's basically how I would report back. That's awesome, yeah, definitely key takeaway. Be sure to tie it back to my kind of summit, be able to like get that paper trail. Um, yeah, we, we, I guess everyone, everyone intuitively knows that my kind of summit is, is valuable and you just have to really be conscious of, of how you prove that, um, prove that value. Um, let's move into a quick speed round. Um, if everyone can kind of give me a, a 20, 30 second response, that would be great. Um, we joked before this that I'll, I'll play your little Oscar speech music to, to make sure you stick to your time. Um, first question, and we'll go in picture order. Uh, what's the number one session you're looking forward to attending? I'm really looking forward to attending the fearless marketing in a GDPR world, uh, tips to thrive amidst new regulation, because GDPR mistakes can cost you big time. All right, mine is, um, I'm actually interested in, as a field marketer, attending a session on May 1st at about 1.30. It's empowering field marketing with event in a box with Marketo. So that'll be interesting to see how we can even um, scale even more and streamline more of our processes. So I have to do a really quick plug for an Uberflip case study that we're presenting. So we have one of our awesome customers, version one, um, and they're gonna be talking about how they use content to power their ABM programs. So if you're focused on ABM, I would definitely check that out. And I also have to shout out Kat's answer on the GDPR. Um, I just did a webinar with Michelle, who's running that session, and she is a huge wealth of knowledge on GDPR. So I would definitely check out that one too. Uh, we are really excited for pitch book session on Tuesday morning at 11.15. Uh, it's a cool session because their VP of marketing, their manager of analytics, and their manager of demand general are going to be speaking um, on a, a collaborative conversation on how they drive growth with the culture of data-driven marketing. Uh, I think it's going to be awesome because it's going to be a lot of different perspectives on how they work together to make that happen. Question two, uh, what party or extracurricular are you looking forward to attending? Feel free to plug away, guys. Yeah, shameless plug time. Uh, I'm super excited because this year we're doing a grand prize giveaway. At our booth, we are going to give away a $10,000 consulting package. So you guys can imagine how much you can do with $10,000 worth of Marketo advice and services. We're very excited. You can come and enter at our booth, which is located in the middle of the exhibit hall. 
All right, and this is for all the B2B marketers out there. Um, Radius is sponsoring, along with other MarTech vendors, um, the ABM Jackpot Party, and it's actually right across from the Moscone Center at the Tabletop Tap House, which is former, uh, formerly the Jillian's location, and it's on Monday, April 30th, at 7 to 10 p.m. Uh, so uh, we will be sending a link out for y'all to register. So join us. Um, so unfortunately, I won't be attending this year, so I don't get to go to this party, but um, the Uberflip team is hosting a margarita party with Terminus and Sigster, and it's actually a pre-party for the official summit party. So we'll be sending details for that, but please have a margarita for me. Um, we are hosting a roller disco party at the mezzanine with Rollworks and Data Fox, so we're super excited about that. Uh, it's Monday night, it's open bar, there's some professional skaters who will be on the rink, um, or you can just hang out, listen to the DJ, but we'll also send out a link so you guys can RSVP to that. Got pretty packed last year, so we're excited again. All right, final takeaways. What do you guys have? Network, enjoy it, take it all in. It's going to be a really overwhelming but amazing experience, but the the, the important goal is that you enjoy it as much as you can. And pop by our booth, say hello, come shake hands, come enter our, our, our grand prize uh, to win our grand prize, and, and we can't wait to see you there. Awesome. Similarly, yeah, um, good luck scheduling all of your meetings and your networking activities. Um, and definitely come by Radius booth. We're at number 836. We're actually doing an iPhone 10 giveaway if you watch a demo, and also if you tweet your B2B truth on what you've learned or discovered as a B2B marketer. So my tip is a little unconventional, but um, going back to focusing on the networking aspect, a lot of the sessions are actually recorded at Summit. So when you're making note in your schedule, I would try to make a note of the ones that are being recorded so that if you feel like you're not getting enough networking time in, you can skip those, network, and then hopefully catch the sessions either on your flight home or the next week, and then catch up on sleep when you get home. Just pack everything in that you can while you're there. Uh, same as what everyone above has said. Uh, network, go to the booths, find out what else is out there, go to the sessions, find out what other people are doing. Um, come stop by Visible's booth. This year we are, instead of doing some uh, giveaway, are planting trees for every single person who stops by the booth. So you'll be given back with us. Um, but we're really excited to see everyone there. Cool. Thanks, everyone. I uh, really appreciate everyone's time um, and it looks like we have seven minutes for questions and i've seen a bunch of questions come in throughout the webinar which is awesome thank you guys so much please continue to send those in if we don't get to all of them um, in the next seven minutes uh, we'll try to follow up uh, via email um, the first question oh this this is a fantastic question um, are the celebrity keynotes worth attending? I know Marketo really pushes those as part of their event promotion. Um, and this question is like, they, they seem like a lot of uh, fluff compared to Marketo's leadership keynotes and, and kind of the true like nitty gritty uh, learning sessions. Um, have any of you attended the keynotes and what did you think? Yeah, this is Kat from Burkito. I can take that one. I have attended them. They are very entertaining. Uh, celebrities tend to have an ease on stage that a lot of us don't have because our day-to-day -day jobs don't really require us to speak to a large audience. Are they valuable? Well, I mean, they're not as valuable as somebody who works in your field and can speak to your specific pain points, but they do tend to bring something and it, it really gives you a different perspective because you see it from a completely separate angle. Uh, last year, two years ago actually, Will Smith was on stage. And Will Smith is an actor. He does not necessarily speak to me in my day-to-day -day job, but I found that he had in his, in his role, he does market himself. So he had some valuable insights that I ended up using and twisting to fit my own reality. So yes, I would in encourage you to go. Are they as valuable as some of the breakout sessions? Not necessarily, but they definitely offer a different point of view. That's awesome. Thanks, Kat. Um, the next question, uh, if there are multiple sessions about a particular topic, such as ABM, there's, I know there's a ton this year, um, how do you pick which one to attend, especially if they, they're happening at the same time? I know, Tara, you, you gave us some insight, uh, a, a great hack that 
you've found is that Marketo records a bunch of these, so you can actually go go watch them back on demand. Um, do you guys have any other tips for how to decide between somewhat similar sounding topics? Yeah, I, if they're both not being recorded, I mean, that, it's an obvious place to start, but if they're not, um, I usually look for the one that sounds like it'll give me the most real takeaways. So if there's one that's more kind of fluffy or thought leadership-y, then I'll probably go towards the more practitioner angle. Cool. Um, and, yeah, great. To add to what Tara said, I would also divide and conquer. If there's more than one of you attending Summit from your company, each go to one and report back. That makes a lot of sense, <laughs> super smart. Um, next question, uh, do you know if there are any special networking events for international uh, visitors? Um, do, I, do I resident Canadians now? <laughs> I'm not sure if there's specific networking events, but I know that there are user groups that are meeting at Summit. It will be in the Zen Den. So there's probably, if your city or, or your region has a user group, you can check with your mug leader as there'll probably be a meetup and possibly even a lunch as well. Oh, awesome. Thanks for the insight. Um, here's a practical question. Uh, Summit website says there is a business, business casual address code. Um, this is in San Francisco. Uh, so it, Business casual may mean something different depending on where you are in the world. Does anyone have some good advice? I think just this is Jen with Visible. Dress decently. Dress like you would want to have a meeting. I wouldn't suggest wearing like sweatpants. Um, you'll be fine in like a nice pair of jeans uh, and a nice top and just make sure you're wearing comfortable shoes uh, that you don't mind walking around in for four days. Yeah, I would go with comfort over fashion for sure. It's a long event and San Francisco is super casual. Cool. Um, Tara, a bunch of follow-up questions on, on the Marketo recordings. Um, does it say clearly in the agenda whether they will be recorded or how do you find out? Oh, that's a good question. Um, since I'm not attending this year, I actually haven't been paying that close of attention. Um, but last year they did say on the agenda for most of them if they were. Cool. Sorry for putting you on the spot there. Um, and then um, can anyone give us more information about the Marketo Summit app? Um, what can you get from it? Um, how do you use it? More, more details on the app. This is Jen. I don't, I think the app is coming out this week. Uh, if you could play with it more, I don't know what it will look like in comparison to previous years, but typically with the app, you can uh, plug in sessions that you want to see. There's usually some sort of like social chat channel on the app so that you can see what others are doing. You can post pictures of what you're doing at the event. Um, usually just has a little bit of everything. Uh, again, I think that'll be rolling out this week. I also love to look at the, the pictures that people are posting and oftentimes attendees will report back on how much they loved a session or what they took away from it. So it's also a good plan B if you're unable to attend something, you'll be able to see what people have to say and you can reach out to them and perhaps request a meeting to learn more. Cool. Uh, getting word that the login info for the app came through today um, but the password's not working, um, unfortunately. I had that issue yesterday. That's why I thought maybe it wasn't for us. <laughs> uh, yeah, great question. I don't think any of our panelists know that might be, that we'll have to do like a, a Marketo question. Maybe you can tweet at them. Uh, they seem to be fairly active there. Um, yeah, oh, half past the hour. Uh, thank you to all of our panelists. Thanks to everyone who asked questions and participated. Thanks for sticking with us. Again, thanks to Kat from Percuto, Naomi from Radius, Tara from Uberflip, and Jen from Visible. Have a good day, guys. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you.